Hey guys, even here and in this video we have a couple of very interesting topics but we gotta start with what happened yesterday at Romania Pro and as you can see in the middle of this first call out you had of course Behru Stavani on his right you had Brad Wilkin and on the left you had Roman Fritz now of course Behrouz won this show, deservedly so, he was more dominant than Brett, I was analyzing this uh, top 2 yesterday and I thought it was kind of close, it was a great showing of both of these guys, but I thought Behrouz did enough to win this show. So congratulations to him, he is going to the Mr. Olympia, he deserves to be there. I'm curious to see how will he mash up with the other Olympians, but I don't have him in my top 10, no. Can Brett Wilkin qualify for the Mr. Olympia? If he keeps trying, I think he can do it. I think he has a Mr. Olympia quality, for sure. Maybe not like top 10 or top 15, but like top 20 sounds pretty realistic. I mean, top 20 bodybuilders in the freaking world. You know, that's that's a huge success. So I think, I think Brett should keep trying and actually win a show. I'm sure he can do it and qualify for the Mr. Olympia. Now, back to what I was saying about this first call out and the very middle of it like in the very center in the middle there was Behrouz Dabani he won the show and on his sides you had Brad Wilkin and Roman Fritz so I was pretty sure that this meant that Brad was going to be second and Roman is going to be third or I don't know at least like top four top five however he ended up in eight how is this even possible I honestly have no idea I personally feel like he was overlooked I'm gonna show you the other poses so you can tell me what do you guys think, but one thing is for sure, Roman brought his absolute best ever. Look at how much bigger and fuller he was at this show than he was at Tampa and Texas. And both of those shows happened relatively recently, so in a very short time span he actually managed to regain all that muscle that he lost during the prep. And yeah, I think he lost a lot of muscle during that prep, that was Fuad Abiyad's theory, some people were like maybe he was just holding a lot of water and when he got rid of it he was actually not as big as he thought he would be, but Fuad was very much convinced that the only reason why Roman looked so small, so stringy on those stages was because he dieted down way, way more than he needed to, he was like already lean, I don't know, maybe like five weeks before the show, but he kept getting shredded, more and more and more shredded, and he, yeah, he got a little leaner, but in the process he lost a ton of muscle. So, you know, muscle memory is a big thing, when he got back to training and back to eating a lot, he got back all of the muscle that he lost, and he did that very, very fast, because he probably was really starving himself unnecessarily, and then when he started eating properly, he got back all the muscle, and with his crazy metabolism, there was just no chance that he can gain any fat in such a short time span. So maybe he was a little bit blurry, more blurry here than he was at Texas at Tampa, but it was definitely worth it, like his conditioning was good here too, but he was just much, much bigger, maybe I would even go as far as to say that he was the biggest guy in this lineup here, I don't know, but to me he looks bigger than Behrouz and, and Brett, of course, not as complete, has so many gaps, this is only one pose, but still, he looked much, much bigger than Tampa and Texas, and I think that's a personal victory for him. I'm a big fan of Roman Fritz and when he failed at Tampa and Texas he was like I wouldn't care so much about my placement if I looked good, if I was happy with my look and now I'm pretty sure he's happy, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be happy with this look, maybe they could, they probably should have given him a little bit higher spot like 8, that's very very low, I think he could have been easily in that top 5 at least, so he's probably upset about that at least a little but I'm sure he's happy with what he brought, he brought size he came in big, like he came in full and round and much much bigger and his conditioning was also very good. Here are some individual photos, so as you can see, could this bag be better? For sure, there are so many weaknesses that he has that he needs to improve on, but like if you talk about the size and conditioning, he was conditioned, check out the glutes and the hamstrings, and also he was much much bigger and fuller, so he definitely changed a lot in a good way. Check out the legs, check out the quads, they were so much flatter before, 
I'm really curious to hear how much weight he actually gained because here he looked so much rounder, so much bigger and fuller. It's insane. It's crazy how much he progressed in. How long has it been since Texas? Like a month or two? Two months tops? Wow. Wow, right? I mean, this is crazy. What kind of improvements he was able to make in such a short time span. Just wow. So congrats for that, Roman, but I'm sorry for that 8 spot, I don't see it that way, I thought he was gonna place higher. Check out this video, like, he was big, man, like, this was, this is definitely the biggest Roman I ever saw, he was arguably the biggest guy here, <laughs> and I, I thought he deserved to be at least top 5, if not top 3, but I don't know, I wasn't there, I guess the judges saw it differently. I mean, these two guys, Brett and, and, and Beckers, really brought crazy conditioning, but Roman was matching them. To me, it didn't seem like he was that far away from them, you know, first, second and eighth spot, but it is what it is, the improvements were definitely made, he was much bigger, much fuller with pretty much same conditioning, so he looked great, what do you guys think, do you think he was robbed, do you think he should have placed higher, why did he end up in eighth, what can he improve, I mean, there are so many things he can improve, but he was much, much better than the last show, and I think that's a victory for itself. Alright, next, at 5 weeks out of Mr. Olympia, our reigning champion, Big Remy, just posted this selfie, and I don't think he ever had that face that looked like this, definitely not at 5 weeks out, it's 5 weeks out, I mean, if he posted this photo at 1 week out, I would be like, wow, he's shredded, he's going to be shredded, but he posted this at 5 weeks out, I don't know if he's actually conditioned, usually when somebody's face looks like this, when somebody has a dead face and this is a proper dead face, that most often means that they are conditioned. If their faces are getting lean, that means they are very much lean, and I don't know about Ramy's conditioning right now, he posted a lot of updates, but I think he didn't post anything in like a week or two, so maybe now, maybe now his, his body is changing rapidly, maybe they started doing something more drastic, I don't know, but again, if this was posted two or one week out, I would be like, wow, like he's in shape, but at five weeks... Maybe he's already in shape, maybe they're gonna try to cruise him into the show, you know, maintain conditioning while trying to improve, you know, stuff like hardness, you know, try to get better at the same time, like growing to the show or something like that, because he does look very lean right now. Anyways, let's say he doesn't do that, let's say he gets a little bit more lean and he gets harder as the time goes on and that's it. Like, I don't think we ever saw Big Remy this focused. So if we're talking about who's going to win the Mr. Olympia, I mean, everybody pretty much at this point has Big Remy winning it. I don't think anybody really has somebody else in that first spot. I mean, who would it be? I mean, there is a whole bunch of great guys who could beat Big Remy if they are 100% on if Big Remy fails. He doesn't bring his absolute best on that stage. Then so many of them can, can take him out. But based on what I'm seeing so far, all the photos and the videos, and considering how focused and how, how hungry Big Remy is this year, yeah, I think it's in the back, I think it's already pretty much done, seeing this photo on top of everything, seeing how lean he actually is, his face actually has gotten super shredded, seeing this dead face, yeah, this pretty much puts a stamp on it, and this pretty much means that, yeah, he's going to be in shape, and that's going to be definitely enough to win another Mr. Olympia title. What about Samson Dauda? Where will he place? A lot of people have him potentially in their top 6 this year, which is insane. This year, top 6, it's insane to get in that top 6, you need to be really freaking good. And based on Samson's off-season photos, honestly, he looked like he could even win the Mr. Olympia if Big Ramy is off. Like, he looked that good. And top 6 would be realistic. Look at his, look at his physique, like, look at the fullness of those, of those quads, of the chest, of the shoulders, of the arms, everything pretty much, maybe not the lats, the lats are kind of high, but everything else, even the waistline, the abs, he just looked very, very complete, and like he's going to be a top 6 Mr. Olympia competitor, but now, as he started dieting down, I don't know, man, it doesn't look that impressive to me anymore, honestly. Like, yeah, I know his back is his weak point, but it, it also looked better in the off-season. Now... He kind of, like, he's not very shredded, and he's not as full as he was, his back is narrow, his glutes are nowhere near uh, being conditioned, 
hamstrings, same thing. So like overall, it looks like he lost some size, he lost some weight, but he didn't really get much leaner. So he's now in that transition period where he's not going to look super good, I understand that, but I feel like there was probably a little bit too much hype surrounding Samson Dauda. I don't think he's going to do that well, you know, top six or anything like that, based on what I'm seeing right here. You guys have to remember that he competed last year at Romania Pro, and this was him. He wasn't incredibly big, he wasn't incredibly conditioned, he did win this show, I don't even know how, I don't know how Ben Cruz didn't win this show, he looked way more polished, way more conditioned and probably just as big, if not even bigger, but anyways, let's say Samson deserved, it doesn't really matter, that's not the point, the point is, he didn't look that big right here, he grew, I don't know, maybe, let's say, because he's a taller guy, maybe he was like tops 270 here, I don't think he was heavier than that, let's say he was around 270, in his off season, he went up to almost 350 pounds. So he gained like 70, 80 pounds since this competition to his off season. So that looked ridiculous. That really looked amazing. But how much of that weight is actually muscle? That was the question. Milo Shachu kind of answered that. He talked about, yeah, he gave him insulin and a lot of carbs. And yeah, he gained a lot of water weight. But then Milos talks about how our bodies are like 70-80% water and that if he does everything properly and he carbs up and fills up that those glycogen stores, gets all that water back in after he has been depleted for a long time, which is something he needs to be, which is something he needs to do because his glutes were never very much conditioned and I don't think they're going to be super shredded now. Because at this point, at 5 weeks out, they are nowhere near being in, being conditioned. And he has this kind of, I don't know, let's say a condition where he gets shredded everywhere else but his glutes and his hamstrings. For some reason, his body is either holding water in that area or fat. I don't know what it is, but he has a trouble uh, with that. But Milos says if he gets shredded and if he, uh, you know, gradually increases his uh, carbohydrate intake and he actually gets... Uh, as hydrated as he was in the off season, but stays very lean and he gets full and stuff like that, he can actually get him to look much, much bigger than he looked last time on that stage. But, you know, I don't think it's going to be something like we expect, considering how big he was in his off season. He's not going to be in the, in the level of big Remy, but will he make big improvements from last year? I think so. I think he will be much bigger, but I think there is a lot of hype with Samson. He might be even out of that top 10 from what I'm seeing right now. I'm curious what do you guys think. Do you agree with me or do you completely disagree? Whatever is the case, just tell me down below in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more bodybuilding videos like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.